Hey Deb, Doug here. Um, just to give you an idea of what um, what I've done to create these icons, um, I do have a photograph that I'd like to turn into a square icon um, that I took uh, just over the summer here. And so what I've done is I've gone to a website that actually does this very easily. So the website I'm, I'm going to is Pixlr. P-I-X-L-R, and it is just P-I-X-L-R dot com to get to it. Um, you'll notice just at the bottom here, it says, or you've got this little um, set of arrows, and if I click on that, it'll take me to two different choices, where I can either go to Pixlr Express, which is just for quick, quick photo editing, um, or Pixlr Editor, which is one that I'm going to go to that has everything that I need to adjust an image. So I'm going to go ahead and just push Launch Web App. Once I do, um, it takes me to a screen that looks something like this. Um, I would like to open the image from my computer, and so I'm going to click on this. Um, you might not be able to see this in the video, but it took me to um, just a file open box like you do in any uh, thing on your computer. And so in that file open box, I'm going to browse to my picture and double click on it, and momentarily it opens up in Pixlr. Now there's really two different things that we might be doing to fix an image. Um, one is to crop the image to make it smaller, to take some of the extraneous stuff out, or in some cases I'd like to increase the canvas size so I get the whole image but it has a border around it. In this particular situation I'm going to actually create a square um, crop out of this. So what I can do is if I just go up to my image button, um, you'll notice that there is a crop right here. Um, you will also notice that canvas size is right here as well, so that's a place where you can adjust that. But if I hit crop, now I can uh, just go ahead and just draw a box on the page, and you notice um, that right here it tells me what my dimensions are and so I can play around with that until my dimensions are a square. There we go. And now I can just pan this back and forth to get the part of the mountain that I want to have in my icon uh, there. And now all I have to do is to apply that, and so um, at this point all I need to do is, I believe, press enter, and um, when I do, you'll see it crops it. This is now a square version of the picture I started with, which is good because now that is something I can use as an icon or as a, a square image to represent whatever I want, like you were looking to do with school division. Once I've got that set, all I need to do is simply set, uh, or go to File, Save, um, ask, ask me what I want to save it as, um, give it a name that makes sense. Um, JPEG is the default, but uh, if you want a non-lossy, you can just go to PNG as a uh, format most websites understand and um, gives a full quality image. Um, higher resolution and higher file size than a JPEG would, but uh, better quality. And uh, I press OK, and it says, where do you want to put it? So I just say I want it in my pictures, and it saves. And that is as simple as it gets. Um, now I can, uh, let's just do an undo here, so I'm going to undo right to the point that I started at, which is a non-square um, uh, canvas. And let's say I wanted to have this whole thing as part of my icon. Well, what I can do is, if I go into image, um, just like I did before, if I, instead of going to crop, which is to make it smaller, I'm going to go to canvas size, which is to make it bigger. Now it's going to say, where do you want your original image to be? And I'm going to place my original image right in the center. And now to make it square, all I need to do is just make sure that both these numbers are the same. Because we're changing the size of the canvas that this picture is sitting on, we can't make it smaller, so we have to make the height bigger. I can't make width 2250, because that's smaller and it would actually cut out some of the image. 
Whereas if I uh, change this to 4,000, now when I press OK, you'll see that it's actually added some white borders around it. So I have my entire picture with white on the top, white on the bottom. Um, I hope that makes sense. Uh, by all means, let me know if you have questions.